HBO, the television channel famous for shows such as The Sopranos and Game of Thrones, is the winner of this year's FT Boldness and Business Driver of Change Award. I'm joined now by Richard Plepler, Chief Executive of HBO. Richard, first of all, congratulations. Thank you, Vanessa. Honored to be here. Good. And let's start now with the topic of your award, obviously the driver of change. HBO recently announced it's launching a streaming service and partnering with Apple TV. Can you explain the rationale behind this and how significant it is for HBO? Sure. Well, listen, there's about 10, maybe 11 million broadband-only homes in the United States, people who just get broadband. And up until now, they would not have had an opportunity to get HBO. So we think there's a pretty big market there, a real opportunity among millennials and others to now have a chance to sample HBO and to bring HBO into their homes. So that's number one. Number two, we want to build optionality. There's all different kinds of ways that people can get the network and subscribe to the network. We want to work with our current partners, right, who have broadband-only platforms also in their businesses, and new partners like Apple in spreading HBO and in getting it out into as many consumers' homes around the country as we possibly can. Well, the theme of this year's awards is disruption. Do you think HBO's move into streaming is disrupting the TV and cable network industry? No, I think it's actually additive. I think this is a multilateral dynamic, not a binary dynamic. There's going to be lots of different ways that people can get HBO. What we wanted was maximum flexibility for our consumer to get the network. And what this does, HBO Now, is it provides that maximum flexi flexibility, but it is additive to the current ecosystem, not disruptive of it, I think additive in an innovative way, but not disruptive. And finally, is it possible to predict the next TV hit? Obviously, HBO has had lots. Is, is it even possible, and how do you do that? No, you can never predict the next hit. What you want to do is work with the best people you possibly can. You want to have a shared vision with the creative community that you work with. You want to bet on great people. And anybody who thinks they have the kind of secret sauce to find the next hit is fooling themselves. What we try to do is make sure we're working with people with a shared vision with us about the kind of entertainment that we want to produce. So far, we have a pretty good track record in doing that and, uh, and in succeeding. Thanks very much, Richard, and congratulations again. Pleasure, and thank you very much.